Hey guys, so I know I have not done a video in a few weeks now, and um, I was going to do a vlog, and I, I think I said that on a video before, and I did not end up doing the vlog, like I said, and I really do apologize for that. I did, like, totally forget to, like, start videotaping, you know, at parties, all of a sudden you, like, get, you know, you start forgetting what you're supposed to be doing. But anyways... Um, so I've been to Mac a few times, um, in the past few months, and I just started gathering stuff, so I wanted to do a collective haul on Mac, um, so yeah. So, if you guys didn't notice, um, I usually go to Mac to, like, get stuff, but I do go once in a while to get a tutorial, not a tutorial, what is it, tutorial, to get, like, my makeover done, and I actually got one done. And it was for the Mac Forward Fashion. And I brought this home. And I actually got the look. Um, this look done. So I'll show you right there. I got this kind of thing. It's a romantic kind of eye that like fades. That like you do dark. Then you do light in the middle. And then you do dark like again. So it's one of these really nice looks that you can fade out. But I don't want to make a long intro because I don't want this video to be long. So, I'm just going to go in and jump into everything. I'll tell you what I'm wearing and what I'm not wearing and stuff like that. Okay, so first off first. Lips. Um, I just happened to grab that first. So, for I'm not wearing it right now and I apologize because I had a popsicle. Um, I had the, for pencil liner, we did the Hip and Happy, which is a very light pink. And it's called Hip and Happy, so I'll just show you on the camera. And it looks like this. And actually, this lighting is pretty good because it gives it really true to color. And it really lightens out your tone. So, like, um, you could do it by itself or you could use the lip gloss that we used, which was Right Image. And it's basically the same thing. It's just got a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'll swatch that. And it's real it's a little lighter actually, but it's still got a little bit of shimmer. So like that. And then I always say that in a lot of my videos. So like that. And then for my brows, I usually don't do brow liner, but I just happened to and I finally got one. And I'm in the color spiked. And it's a nice light brown, um, and I've never actually had a brow pencil, so I'm not sure how light well you're going to be able to see this. And I don't know if this gets bigger or not. Oh, that would help. Okay. So it looks like that. And that's really dark. It's usually not that dark. And then I got another pigment, which I'm so excited about because I really like pigments that I can really use. And this one is called Kitchmas. And it's a really gorgeous pink that's like silvery pink. And I cannot tell you how gorgeous this color is. I'll show you the cap. That's what the color looks like. I'll like swatch from the cap. Sparkles everywhere. So it's on my hand right, right, right here, but you can't really tell. So it looks like that. It's like a really sheer color that I just thought was gorgeous. And then blushes. I got two blushes. Okay. So, the blush she used on me was called Pink Cult, which, by the way, was done by Amberly. Um, and this is like a really neutral purple-ish pink, which I thought was super duper gorgeous, and I really liked this. And then I got Genta Gentle, which is a corally pink, and it's, you can mistake it for Dan... Danity, but it's really not the same thing. This blush is absolutely gorgeous. 
It's on my hand right there. And it's very, very pretty for, like, um, now, since it's getting, like, warmer out and different, like, weather-wise. And then I'll show you the feather. This is on my finger. It's really neutral, so. And then I got two mineralized shadows. This one's in Fresh Mint. So it looks like that. So there's two sides. Fresh mint. And you could do one side and then use the other if you want. So I'll show you the two sides. My fingers. So that's the white and then that's the green. And then when you mix them together, you get this really, really nice, like mix of the two. So it turns out like a really gorgeous color, which I thought was so pretty. And then I also got Sweet and Sour, which I thought was really pretty because I don't, I have all that glitters, but it's not exactly a gold for those of you who like know that color. It's not really gold gold, but this has a gold in it, and I thought this color was absolutely pretty. So the, this one, the, the green has like a gold tint to it, and then this is straight for a gold, and then you mix the two. And you get like this really pretty goldish, like, I don't even know how to describe it, goldish, like, green. And I think it's so pretty. So, and then uh, the two eyeshadows. She did eyeshadows that I actually didn't per end up getting because they didn't have any. But I got colors that were similar. So, this is Shadowy Lady and it's a matte. And that's would be in this area, the inner corner and the outer corner. And it looks like that. It's fairly darker. But when you like put it on, it's lighter. And then I got Swish, which is a frost. And that would be what we put in my crease. Because we did use it. But um, that was in... This is like the version that of the one that I put was put in my crease but it's just um, a little it has shimmer in it and then um, the comparable color to my middle was actually um, I don't even remember the name but it's like pink something silk silk pink or something like that something like that but anyways oh yeah and then lastly so, I don't have a waterproof mascara yet, and so I actually got the Zoom Waterfast Lash, and this is an improved version of the Zoom Lash, because before it clumped and it really wasn't, it wasn't waterproof, and this is the newer version, and it's so nice. I love this mascara. But yeah, that's what I got at MAC for my purchases. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!